today. She is live there this evening with more. Troy, they have got to be pretty steamed about this. Tara, neighbors actually tell me that reckless driving is nothing out of the ordinary on the street. As you can see behind me, this is what's left of the two homes after a car went through it. It was around 6.30 this morning when Jamie Hogel got a text from her daughter with a photo of their neighbor's home with a car straight through it. It was Hogel's daughter and boyfriend who called the police this morning. They said it sounded like a train flew by. Hogel said it's pretty common to see driver, reckless drivers on the road, so she wasn't surprised to hear about an accident on her street. She's just thankful her kids are older, so she doesn't have to worry as much about them when it comes to road safety. But nonetheless, it's still scary for her as a parent. She said seeing the extreme of the accident re hit really close to home. I feel very scared and nervous. I have no control if I'm at work. Um, my children were getting ready for school, and I wasn't here. I couldn't do anything. And this is not the and this is not the first time a car has gone into a house in this area. Another neighbor said about 15 years ago he watched the same thing happen on the other end of this street, and he is the parent of eight, of eight children. So he and his wife always worry about their kids' safety when they're playing outside. Now, thankfully, no kids were harmed today. But Hogel says maybe next time they might not be as lucky. As a resident on the street, she said she would like to see more police presence here just to maybe keep drivers from speeding. And at six o'clock tonight, we'll have more about what other drivers are feeling when it comes to road safety. Until then, live in New Haven, I'm Troyce Grant, Fox 55 News. Troyce, thank you, and we all.